hello guys welcome to this brand new video and what we'll be today doing today is we'll be doing with the emission in unity so to get the emission and global illumination right what you have to do is you have to go to the lightning tab go to window and then to lightning and you, this window will pop up and what you have to do is set the pre computed real time gi and set the baked gi also set auto so that it gets changed automatically and you do not have to render it again and again so what i have done here is i have created two or three i have created a five six cubes here so these behave, behave, uh, behave as a room so external light once effect uh, won't effect this thing and um, it will be easier to see how it works and what i have done here is i have set all the six cubes to static and i have also created two spheres sphere one and sphere so it's all both these spheres are static and these are the materials that are used by this the spheres uh, so in this material what i have done here is this is a new material and i have done i have set the albedo to one color that is red and i have set the emission to same color so that it emits the same kind of light so this red ball here is uh, emitting a red light as you can see so uh, this red light and if i just untick that it will be more easier to see for you and it is and at the same time as i am uh, removing the uh, sphere one you can see that the tasks are running here so as soon as these tasks complete this is um, as soon as this task complete what unity does it's uh, it is it refreshes the scene so that it will be easier to see and uh, it might take a bit of time um, for us to get the effect desired effect here and uh, let's see how much it takes it's uh, to 7 out of 11 and i think that should complete pretty fast but it's taking a bit of time and um, at the same time what i want to say is um, uh, if you want to use uh, this kind of effects emission effect in unity uh, also set the emission to uh, a value more than one so that it affects the radius around which the um, light effect of lightning is seen so if you set that to two or uh, two then you can see the effect of red light is very less and if you set that to hun maybe 100 you can see it's it's very much more than that was earlier so um, you can set this to how much you like between one and uh, maybe 10 that would be okay and as you can see my tax has here have been complete and the effect of red color only is being seen so again as i said the color as i said the sphere one to true and then you can see that these things are going on so there are some bugs in previous version of unity so uh, which uh, in which uh, these things will not work emission might not work and uh, uh, to fix those errors please download a new version of unity and um, another cool thing about this emission is here you can set the tab set the mesh that you want to set in emission so uh, this the, the I, I just selected a, a mesh um, a texture here and I think uh, let's see how it works so there are some jobs still going on and uh, till that uh, let those be complete get okay, three left and guys um, i suggest i strongly suggest using these kinds of effect uh, very less uh, um, uh, very less in the sense that uh, they consume resources and uh, if you if you are not if you are better off not using these uh, especially in mobile games then and then uh, they consume a lot of memory in your mobile game in your mobile game so uh, that might be a hazard for you so you do not want to get uh, get into those things as I have said, the color to tick and the emission particle to tick, the um, the effect is not seen clearly. And if I say to another thing, so it, it what basically it does is it generates this um, this uh, effect in the form of um, in the in the form uh, in the shape as of the texture. So if I set to circle, then you can see that um, the emission here is circular type. So uh, this is how it behaves here. Yeah. And um, let's see how it looks. So as you can see, uh, the 
blue color is spread all over here and the red color is spread here in between these areas they are mixed up and if you change the radius obviously these things will be changed so guys this much for today if you want to learn more about uh, unity and how to make a game in unity please uh, comment let me know in the comments below what you have uh, what problems you are facing and uh, also if you like the video please leave, the, leave a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more of this video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching guys see you later